Welcome back to Let's Play the Space Bar on the Mysterious JG. I have figured out how to defeat the police and win in the Vine Maze. I got impatient and attempted to wuss out and use a fac to solve my problems for me, but the only fac I can find for this game gives you a solution to this maze that doesn't work. I think what happened is the person played through, beat the game, beat the puzzles. Maybe some of this is stuff they got from the Segasoft hint line. I don't know if anybody's ever beaten this game fair and square. But um, they appear to have forgotten how they beat the maze. And then rather than actually going back and doing it again before writing the fact, they just kind of threw in what they thought it was. And uh, they were wrong. Anyway, I want to get out of this stage reasonably quickly because the thunder sound effects are really loud. And uh, I don't want to disturb my neighbors. But I do want to look at this. Three seven four nine eight. Remember that, folks. Now here's what I basically had to do to get this to work. Swung up to this one, got rid of the vine that goes north to south. Swung over to the one that the cops at now, got rid of the vine that goes north to south. Swung across on the vine that goes diagonally. The key to this and why it's going to work is because I have left him a path to get to me. He can now go east, east to west. Then that will be from northwest to southeast. Then from east to west, south, west. He can get. There's no place he can't reach. It's just he can't get there as quickly as he could. By getting rid of all the north-south crossings, I've forced him to go one, two different two different movements to make what would have only required one movement to get down here. And that's key because if I cut him off so he can't get to me to arrest me, he will just start guarding the place that I'm trying to get to. I've got to give him a path, but I've got to give him a path that he can't traverse fast enough to keep up with me. So, let's go to it here. And I... Okay, thanks, everybody. I just hope I don't get a uh, crash, because the game was crashing a lot. I had to reboot my machine. This is about the third attempt to record this video. But as you'll see, he is now one click away from me. His move is going... Now, I, it di I didn't... First time I did this, I was not 100% sure it would work. Because I can now swing diagonally here. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm being silly. It, of course it will work. I'm swinging diagonally up here now, because he is coming down here to get me. He can now, he can swing to where I am, but I won't be there anymore. He cannot swing up north to get at me, because that vine is gone. So he took the most direct path he could towards me, but I'm going to cut across, and he's not going to be able to catch me. And although I tried to wuss out and cheat... I'm sure you will be very comfortable in the work yeah, whatever, buddy. Okay, he did, uh... Rather than swinging to where I was, he always he always seems to react to your move. But, as you can see, it's too late. He, sw he swung here, I'm going to swing up there, and he's not going to be able to catch me, because the vine will now be with me. May the vine be with you. So we got to go northeast, right here. May your offspring be cursed with unspeakable I couldn't understand that because of the lightning. They really shouldn't have uh, set up the sound effects quite the way they did here. It's impossible to hear the voices when they click in at the right time. But 47693, was that the number of the phone back there? Let's just double check. Because I want to... Oh, oops, no, this created an opportunity for the game to crash. This was the room where the game kept crashing. But that was before I restarted Windows, which seems to have fixed everything. 37498, so it's a good thing I checked, because I wasn't even close. 37498. 37498.
because I think this screen, well, I know this screen has a payphone because I saw it when I played off camera. 20, damn it! It this usually works to get more tokens. It struck thunder while he was saying, "Okay, you win." That sucks. Well, let's try it one more time. Three seven four nine eight. Please key in party's account But that's probably all we're gonna get out of that guy. We called him to taunt him, and then the freaking game sound mix doesn't allow us to hear what he says when we taunt him. Maybe we'll get it this time. Alright, this time nothing's gonna happen. So, forget it. We... I'm pretty sure we are gonna need to use this phone. Last time... Now, this is the spaceport we need to go to. We've got this all sealed up. But I think we all understand that it's not going to be that simple. There's also a kennel. Last time I went in there, did a lot of searching around, interesting stuff, and then got arrested, like, instantly. So there's got to be something else that we can do something with. Maybe we can walk up to the spaceport, but not all the way in? I don't know. Oh, okay. On duty queep. Queeps have ears ten times as perceptive as those of an auditor. Government units train these creatures for drug enforcement. A trained queep can hear a well hidden supply of cerebomb at ten meters, even if it's packed in a vacuum sealed pouch. Which ours is. But we're still gonna get caught if we try to go through there. What's this? How oh, are my queeps? Please report any strange behavior such as but not limited to biting passengers, breaking claws across the waiting area furniture, nibbling each other's tails, speaking intelligibly, operating spacecraft, lurking solemnly in the restaurant, or barricading themselves inside the restrooms. Wine, wine, tap, wine, whistle, tap, tap, que head creep, queep trainer, 97997. Door won't budge. That one is occupied. So it looks like we're going to have to. There's cages. There's the door, presumably out. There's an alarm. This is the alarm that will go off if the arch, arc detects any contraband. Okay. This, we're. I believe we're going to have to. Door won't budge. Use the tail, okay. Hey, there's a quiet device. I cannot venture to guess what this does. <laughs> it's a flashlight, nice. Of course he doesn't know what it is. Alright, well let's uh pick up the Sarah bomb. Let's put it in the locker. I cannot mention it, yes, but this does. 
That's weird. It's making... It sounds like it's making white noise. Succeed in fleeing rubble paying over without a stash of bomb, you can't help but wonder how you'll make it without a credit to your name. Oh, I didn't think it was going to end my game. I just wanted to check and see if any of the other things would be... Okay, so forget it. i got to get the Cerebomb through. I knew that. I just figured I might find out whether or not they will bother me about any of the other stuff I've got. Like, I never got rid of the insects in my inventory. They're apparently uh, contraband insects. Ooh, this is dangerous. This is the room that kept crashing the game before, and this is where I start back out. So I need to, like, not mess around. Oh, hey, you know what? Now we have an excuse to, uh... to call that cop again, and hopefully this time not have the game throw lightning down right while we're trying to listen to him. Let's try to make this fast. Well, it's not going to make a difference when the lightning strikes on this save state. 37498. I couldn't hear it, and it's bothering me. 37498. Now, I know that you guys, in certain past videos, I wasn't picking up the sound as well as in others. And I apologize if you weren't able to hear the insect dialogue really well when they died, because that was actually pretty funny. 37498. We just had a crack of thunder, so hopefully we'll get a little bit of quiet now. Okay, Thunder in Paradise, mess with them and you're going to die. Thunder, please be quiet so that we can get this dialogue here. Okay, so he did say you win. <laughs> oh, paint the spaceport yellow in your honor, whatever it was he said. I don't know why he said that, but he did. Now, I know we just saved. Let's save again. And I will show you what happens when you wander into the kennels. Like I did before going to the spaceport first. Oh, there's a whole bunch of queefs. There's another Autoton. Looking at him. So you can't go in there and mess with that guy. I think it to me it happened when I tried to leave. Not without at least stashing the Sarah bomb in the storage locker first. Let's read the sign. 97997 is the phone number for that place. You better believe it. Better believe that that's going to be involved in this puzzle somehow. As a matter of fact, let's try calling it right now. 97997. Let's just see what happens if we call. No.
Come on, buddy. All right, Gargle, get this straight. I don't have nothing to do with those guys anymore. I only bet on the crabs nowadays. You gotta believe me. Okay, that really went nowhere. However, we do have another phone number that we can call. Eight eight three hundred. So let's try calling them. Eight eight three hundred. I really wish the thunder would knock it off. It's getting old. It's not atmospheric, it's just irritating now. Hello, and thank you for calling the Happy Branches sales team. At any point during this call, press the asterisk key to skip to the main menu. Stick around. We have an offer we're sure you're warm with. Here's a brief word about a very special product just for active seniors like you. Hi, this is Ding Dong Cough Gas. You know me best as the portly but endearing detective on the hit series. Hey, somebody's clubbed my husband. Okay. The show was a big hit. I struck it rich on a golden river of syndications and products. Asterisk, please. Please make your selection from the following menu of choices. Okay. Press the asterisk key to return to this menu. To purchase a spot, please press 1. To sign a friend up to receive this phone call, press 2. To repeat the happy branch's description, press E. To repeat the ear suction 5000 infomercial, please enter your friend's or tell account of your food. Let's sign our food up. Thanks. I'm sure your friend will really appreciate your thoughtfulness. Please make your selection from the following menu of choices. At any time, press the asterisk key to return to this menu. To purchase a spot, please... Okay, so we signed him up for a telemarketing call. That's might distract him long enough for us to to mess around with his. Uh, I don't know what are we got to do in here. Whistle tap tap. What can I do for you, buddy? I th was expecting him to be on the phone, but okay. <laughs> Look, if you're not gonna say anything, why don't you move along, buddy? I've got schedules to calculate and queeps to feed. Beat it. Blast is laryngitis. Oh, he's got laryngitis. So let's hear some more uh, uh, I don't know what your story is, buddy, but you should do something about your voice. I can't understand a thing you're saying. A E When is that phone gonna ring? Yeah, you know, I thought we'd figured this out. We gotta. It's a private phone. You can't make up the phone number from here. Hmm. This looks like the standard logbook you find in most government offices. Ah, Lord, how numbingly boring this job is on Moan Day Tuesday. I don't know how much longer I can stay on this job. I should have been a writer or a mathematician, like my Uncle Rasp said. Wednesday. Following over customs tells me they're planning on raiding a safe house tomorrow on the other side of the tree. Now, there's an interesting job. Thunder Day. Everyone I have to deal with is such a claw. This baseboard manager has the intellect of a bleat, bleat eel. If I didn't entertain myself by devising interesting rotations, I would surely go mad. Okay, so that's his rotation list. Who is currently out? 
A and E. Okay. After A and E are F and A. So they're going to be the next ones to rotate out. And I think I know what now what we got to do. We got this dose tablet that we got to break, right? So there'll be two distinct pieces. And what did we say? It was F and A? Yeah. What worries me is that he doesn't seem to be on the phone yet. Leave those dinner bowls alone, you sap trickle. So did I get the phone number wrong? Maybe I got the phone number wrong. Let's try this again. Nine seven nine nine seven. I could have sworn that's what I put in, but okay. Eight eight three hundred, then nine seven nine nine seven. Nine seven nine nine seven, right? selection from the following menu of choices. At any time, press the asterisk key to return to this menu. To purchase a spot, please press 1. To sign a friend up, please press 2. To repeat the happy branch's description, press 3. Maybe it can't just click end. The ES section 5000 infomercial, press 4. Maybe I can't just press end. This usually works to get more tokens. Now he should be getting a call from the infomercial people. I mean, that's that's pretty much got to be how this puzzle works. Maybe I need to turn the quiet device on, too. Couldn't hurt. Ah, here we go. But now I and D are out. So F and A, okay. F. A. Feeling pretty good here, folks. I want to save the game. Wonder if we're supposed to wait a couple of clicks for them to switch over or something. I don't know. Or we can just examine them. Do they look sleepy? Creeps have ears ten times as perceptive as those of an auditor. Government units train these creatures for drug enforcement. A trained creep can hear a well they don't appear to be asleep. Oh well. Tail print accepted. Now I've got a lunch pail with both the Cerebom and the Tail quiet device. They're both in there. And 
Nope. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Thanks, buddy. Tell me again how you came by this stash. It's a breeze. It's for breeze. So, Mix. what are your plans? What's that? Alright. So, I guess we have to somehow wait for the... Wait for the, the changing of the guard. Because I believe we... I thought we did that right. They do not appear to be asleep. Go outside. Maybe wait a tick or two. Go back in. Sakes. <laughs> F and A are still here. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, buddy. That's great. Okay, pal. The place is surrounded. Come up with your hands and tail up where I can see them. Give yourself up. Okay, well, we got to find a... I don't know. We used the drugs on what I thought were the right ones, and apparently I did something wrong. Great, we haven't done anything here yet. Double check the number nine seven nine nine seven. Uh, da, 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 da. Eight eight three hundred and nine seven nine nine seven. Please key in party's Arch account number now. Nine seven nine nine seven again. saving the game here instead of after we've done this in case we screw this up again we're over half an hour but I really think we're about to win this if I can just get it right it's A and E E and E's biography after A and E should be F and A
That's what we did last time, I think. Man, I'm not supposed to go in here and mess with this, am I? Fine, whatever. A and E. Keep going until we see F and A out. A and E. No, now it's D and I. What the hell? Hold on. Well, we can still cheat our way out of this. Who is it now? It's it's D and I. Let's load our game and see if we can figure out how we were meant to know that. A and E are gone. Oh, the one at the bottom. So we're supposed to figure out the pattern somehow. Well, screw it. We know it's D and I. I don't feel like dealing with the pattern. D and I. Hey. Yeah, I figured out what we were meant to do. I just didn't feel like doing it. Still F and A. Is it D and I yet? Nope. Is the time changing? Yeah, each time we make a move it does change. Which means it eventually should be There we go. Don't crash out of me now, game. That is more like it. Well, let's go ahead and save here, just in case we didn't do something right with the... Um, beating the other security Accepted. system. Accepted. Tail print stored. Contents secure. Fantastic. There we go. That's more like it. Nine three five one. Our lucky number. Perhaps you should resort to using disc two. I'll do that. But I'll do that in the next video. All right, folks. Congratulations. Thank you for coming along with me on my virtual drug smuggling journey. When we come back, um, we will. I don't know. We'll he'll owe us a favor, I guess. Um, and uh, we've got one more flashback to do, and then we've really got no choice but to start trying to help Max. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time.